Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel on data analysis and research. Uh, today we want to look at the box and whisker plot as we have seen on the screen. So sometimes you might want to compare more than two groups and then you want to display this in the form of a figure. So especially if the data is non-parametric, you might want to use the box and whisker plot to display the comparison. So how do you create this in graph path present? So that is what we want to look at uh, in this video. So this is what we want to create, the box and whisker plot uh, in graph path present. So I want to demonstrate how you can produce a box and whisker plot in this form. So this is our data. We have uh, we have estimated the glomerular filtration rate using two methods. So based on serum creatinine, serum citrusin C, and then the combination, combining the two variables. So we want, now want to compare whether uh, the estimated glomerular filtration rate or the EGFR are different. So the aim is that there shouldn't be significant difference between them. So we want to find out. So in graph at present, after pasting your data, there's normally an automat automatic table or automatic graph created. So when you come to data, so it will give you this figure and there are various options. So you can see we have individual values, we have box and violin, mean, median, and error. So we want box and violin. So we'll go here. And then, so this is the box. So this only box with our whiskers, but we want a box and whisker. So we we'll select this one. And we want it to display from the minimum to the maximum value. So there are various options here. If you want the the 10th to 90th percentile, you want the 5th to 95th, so you choose. But we want all, we want the minimum to maximum with the lower, median, and then the upper quarters all displayed, minimum and the maximum value. So we select this. So this is what we have. So, but you can see that it's very small and only tall. So we want a wider figure. So we'll double click on this. So this is the formatting window. We'll go to frame and origin. And then here, shape. We want it to be wide, not tall. So we we'll choose wide. We want to also offset the X from the Y axis. So offset X from Y axis. We select. Then we'll apply. So this is what you get. OK. So the unit for the EGFR, we have to key it in. So it's uh, mil per minute per 1.73 meter squared. So this is it. You can type it in if you want. So mil slash minute slash 1.73 meter squared. So the squared you have to format is uh, raised to x raised to the power 2. So you click on it. So you have it. So that is the unit for the estimated glomerular filtration rate. So here we don't need a title. We don't also need a title here. So we can try to distinguish between this box and whisker plus. They are all black, I mean the, the borderline. So we can make them different. We just distinguish between them. So we can make this one, we can make it red. So red borderline, we can make this the gold color, okay, then uh, we can make this, make it, make this one green, so we have green color here. So that is it, but as of now, we don't know whether there's significant difference between these variables, so we need to uh, conduct a one-way ANOVA if it's parametric data or 
we do a non-parametric ANOVA. So for this data, we consider it to be non-parametric. So we do a non-parametric analysis. So anal we go to analyze. So you see one way ANOVA here, and then we have the non-parametric or mixed. So that is what we want to do. Then we we'll click OK. So here you see experimental design, no matching or pairing. So it's just single data. We didn't do duplicates, so we'll leave it as such. But here, assume Gaussian distribution. So this data is non-parametric. So we'll, we'll choose use non-parametric test. See? Then repeated measures, there's no options. They'll come to multiple comparison. We want to compare each variable to the other. So we'll select compare the mean rank of each column with the mean rank of every column. So we'll select that one. That's the multiple comparisons. So if you want the residuals and other outputs, you can come here. But for this analysis, we don't need them. So this should be OK. Then we'll click. OK, so, so that's our non-parametric or the Kruger Wallace test. So you can see that there's significant difference between the groups. The groups are three. So you see the p-value. So that means there's a significant difference. But where does the difference lie? You have to come to the multiple comparisons. So you come here. So you can see that the difference is between serum creatinine and statin C. There's a difference. The p-value is less than 0.001. Between serum creatinine and the combined serum creatinine and statin C, there's also a difference. But between statin C and the combined EGF, there's no difference. So our differences lie in these two, the first two. So we have to come to our figure. So you can see that the p-values are the same. They are the same. So you can just uh, use a single symbol to represent that and then define them. So you come to our data or our figure. So you can see. So the difference between the red and the gold and then the red and the green. But there's no difference between the gold and then the green. So how do we show this? We'll go here. So there are various uh, lines here. We'll choose this. We want to use this one. So we'll select. So you hold down the right key. And then you drag. And then to between the first and second. So we can use one star since the value is the same you can use one star to denote that it's less than 0 0.001 so this line is very thick so we can format it so if you double click on it you can see the style then the thickness is two points so we can make it half make it half so you can see so to also make sure the line is actually positioned on directly on top, you hold down the right key and you drag. So you can see a broken line indicating that it's aligned to the middle. So you leave that. Then you can also check for the other side. So it's also done. Then there's another difference between uh, serum creatinine and the combined. So we'll put another line, one star, because the p-values are the same. So we'll also format this line. We want a half point. So it's also okay. They want to see whether it's also aligned. So we'll drag. So you can see. Then this one too is aligned. So that is it. So in your write-up, you have to define what the star means. So star is p value less than 0 0.001. If they were different, you can put one star, two star, three star, and define them. So we can format. We can increase the font size for axis to 14. We can increase the Y to also 14. So for the unit, we can leave it at 12. So so that is it. So this is how you create a box and whisker plot. So anybody seeing this then understands will tell you that. So why will you, how will you know which one is higher, which one is not? So as I showed you, so this lower whisker, lower bar, is the minimum value 
the line here is a whisker so this is a minimum value this is a maximum value this line bar here is a whisker these are the whiskers so those projecting from the box are the whiskers then this is your lower quartile or 25th percentile this is the median the middle this is the upper quartile or your 75th percentile so and then how do you know which one is higher than the other you use the median so you can see that this median volume is higher than the median here so for this you can see that the lower quarter and the median are almost the same so that is why it's merged here so here to to tell you the median here is higher than the median there so you can see that the cystatin c value is significantly higher than the serum creatinine value so that is for the first interpretation and then the combined value is also higher than the creatinine value so this is how you interpret box and whisker plot so thank you very much for watching so please subscribe to my channel for subsequent videos also like by clicking on the button there's the button below and also share this video to your colleagues who are interested in statistics and research so look forward to my next video on data analysis and research thank you and bye for now